Tale of the tape for Marco Antonio Barrera and Juan Manuel Marquez. Within a few months of each other at age 33. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 129 pounds, professional record, 46 victories, including 35 knockouts, with only three defeats and one bout even. The Ciudad de Mexico, the former featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Dinamita. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 63 victories, including 42 knockouts, with four defeats, one no decision. También de Ciudad de México, the three-time world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC super featherweight champion of the world. The baby faced assassin Marco Antonio Barrera. Do we have any questions? No work. Best one. Is it too early, Jim and Emmanuel? of a fight which could have taken place in 1999. Great fight tonight. I'm anticipating. The roar is one of the... Herrera throwing his left hook right under Marquez's heart. Marquez working upstairs using slightly greater can box punch. Hard right hand by Marquez. Herrera says, I'll throw a He hard doesn't take all of the punishment that people think he's taking. Right now. The line, you can feel it in the minds of both fighters. The fight mentality of Herrera, who's been here so many times before. Good one. Two. This fight is going to be very hard right special. Hand upstairs. Both guys are punching extremely hard and extremely sharp. And Right there, you saw Barrera look like he got hit with a solid right, but he rolled his head and took most of the power out of him. He's got to counterpunch him upstairs. When he throws, you counterpunch. Right here, you see Marquez laying a sweeping right hand on Barrera right there, and Barrera got hit with the punch. Marquez throwing he... just a little bit more. Barrera landed 13 power shots, more, but Barrera was choosing, picking his spots, and landing just as hard. Barrera stepping inside of Marquez. Barrera looks very sharp and very fast. Much even faster than I even expected. Barrera trained for 10 weeks at altitude in Big Bear, California. He compared this training camp... Sometimes he throws the left hook to the body because Marquez has a tendency to bend over to his right when he comes in. And Barrera... To the body. I think that uh, Barrera has adjusted what he, he wanted. The aggressor because he found... Big left hook by Barrera upstairs. Sees the opportunity. Right now. There's a left hook to the body getting back. And Marquez with counters top. with two left hooks of his own. Stop! Herrera fires a straight right hand. Good left hook to the body inside by Barrero while Marquez was him faster with his hand speed than he is now. Herrera making Marquez reach and then stepping Look inside and tattooing him with hard shots. Good. Those left hooks has given a lot of problems to Marquez. And he's mixing up the left hooks. He's doing body punches to the head, all with the left hook. All of his attack. And then counter punch is very effective also. Body shot. Now Marquez lands a big left hook. Barrera lands a right hand in return. To pick off punches with his gloves now. They all use the finish up with right hands, followed up with left hooks. Whether it's a hook to the body or a hook on the chin. Tight ball. Technical skill at its highest level. Like a telescope. He's made the trend. the fight goes on, it's going to be much more intense. Like this. Yeah. And you can't beat this, Shepard. After yeah. pinpoint punches. Herrera's got a strange jab. It looks a little awkward the way he does it. But it yeah, Where's the ice? Come on, come on. Yeah, good punches. Third 
ground, made it close. I guess he's going to turn it on around four, five, and six because that's how one left. Going for this is jab because once the rear gets his jab to ground, the he intensity sets it. of someone who wants to stay on the attack and keep the, the practical pressure. round four. Herrera Herrera thought that he might go to war more so because Marquez is. Yes. And Barrera oh. steps forward with a perfect one, too. Well, he steps away jab. from the point. Kansas is still punching very short, active power punches. And I'm particular about him, even though he hasn't been that effective. I'm just saying it looked like that's the shot that he was, he's really gambling on a lot. But in terms of solid being the boss, once again in round four. Okay. You're good. Okay. Here you see Marquez landing, which I think is the punch that he's gambling on to win this fight. For the most, it's that right hand, and I, it seemed like he's trying to get himself. In. Yeah. They score and score and score. Yeah, well, no, Barrera has that ability because he, he you know, in his face, he is determined to fight the fight of his life. Also. Landed one sharp right hand in this round. There's a solid. He really hasn't attacked him very often. Uppercut for Marquez. You heard Nacho Beristain yeah. asking him to throw the uppercut. And he hadn't done so. They both have the same instinct for trying to hit back. Crowd oohed and out. Marquez missing with a little radio circle. Marquez with a big left hook. Barrera. Solid. Left hook for Marquez. Bangs Barrera back against the ropes. It's one of the first times. Barrera holding his hands a little higher, coming forward more than before. Barrera going to the body. Marquez going to the body. Left hook upstairs landed for Marquez. Barrera to... Solid right hand for Barrera as Marquez leaned in. Another big right hand for Barrera. Hot shotting Marquez. Trying to find that spot around the eye where already a small cut has been called. Hard right hand lead by Juan Manuel Marquez. Now Barrera comes back and fires to the body and up. Doesn't like that. Big left hook for Barrera inside. Barrera's had a much more aggressive round. But it's what's interesting though right now. Barrera's trying to throw right hand leads. They trade the in the ring and both men land. A fight breaks out in the middle of the boxing match. Come on, more punches. Where are you? More punches, harder punches. 14 out of 42, throwing more. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? That's doing a lot of good form in the eyes of the judges. They always like the aggressive, and Barrera does get off first constantly. Side scores, as we've mentioned before, with a difficult job tonight. Two great tacticians, two great adjusters, two aggressive. Stop! Last round. I don't think no one's going to get a real comfortable decided edge. Oh, right, right, right hand, hand by Marquez. Yeah, yeah, Momentarily right. stones Barrera fighting back. That was the most eye catching yeah. shot of the night. Another big, big right hand over the top. Marquez seizing the advantage in the center of the ring. Gambling on that punch all night. Long. Big left, suddenly he's beating Barrera to the punch over and over and over. It's the seventh round. Uppercut for Marquez. Left hook. Barrera stunned and in trouble against the rope. Marquez looking to knock his man out. Brilliantly mixes in a couple of body shots. Real bottom for that right hand again. Barrera in more trouble than... And knocks Marquez down. Oh. Amazing. That was almost 10-8. Marquez, Barrera scores the knockdown. Wait, but Jay Nady... You don't think it was a knockdown? I don't, a knockdown? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was a knockdown, but he, he penalized, I think. Here's the right hand that hurts Barrera so badly. And he's been... Here's the end of the round. Right, right on the right, chin. Right hand. It was a right. How could that not be a knockdown? That's a knockdown. That is a perfect... That's a knockdown. And if it's not ruled a knockdown, that's a terrible error. It was a landslide in CompuBox where Marquez landed 33 out of 48 to only 11 of 29 for Barrera. That ruling is going to figure in. I saw some blood on Barrera at the end of the round, too, which wouldn't have been surprising. Big uppercut lands for Marquez. You don't want to see a fight like this, the referee's mistake. Let's see how it plays out. So that a decision like that can be reviewed 
and sort it out. And a knockdown for Barrera. Excellent right play, Jim. The way that he was when he was fresher. And that's still a big danger of him getting caught with the right hand. And as you can see, Mark Hansen. The drama of the seventh round spills over into the eighth. Now you can almost feel the crowd getting momentary break as Mark even the score and get back what he lost in the seventh round. Jay Nady ruled, not a knockdown. Boom! Perfect right hand shot. Down Marco goes. Antonio Barrera. What the justification is for that, I have no idea. Well, he did hit him when he was. And this looks, this fight doesn't look like it's going to be more than. Two. Barrera with an edge and jab connects. Marquez with an edge now in power shots. Built up large. Night night. Instead of fighting at a distance, he's trying to get barrel in to get in close and then with the short punches. Now. But you're right. Big left hook for Marquez. And Barrera comes back with a solid right hand. Standing up a little bit better to Marquez's shots and landing his own. Even though Marquez is chronologically a few months older. But he's not showing that tonight. What an upset it, it would be. And Marquez is trying to figure out what Barrera is going to do where it was a little bit the other way around in the beginning. Body shots by Marquez and a big right hand up there. Barrera comes back with a flurry of... It's doubtful that Marquez has ever looked this way. Uh, much less at this stage. And that's just so good. The fact that he's looked like he's going to get hit, but he hasn't been getting hit. Right here, you see Barrera coming back with right hands of his own now. He's becoming much more aggressive and trying to get they very close. by one in the number of punches landed. Marquez lands a big right hand. Right here, in this entire fight. Look, whatever happens is usually from... Strafing Barrera. He's down when he gets inside, and now he's shooting the uppercuts. That's on anticipation. He gets in a left hook. Ducks a right hand. Barrera fires his own left hook and lands it twice. Ten seconds. Solid contact there for Marquez. Barrera landed to the body. More training yeah. Prince Nassim yeah. Hamed. He openly ducked uh, Marquez. Where's the Vaseline? Where's the Vaseline for the cuts? Oh, Let them go. Oh, we got it. Come on, breathe. Throws a little right hand. Jabs and beats Marquez to the punch. Marquez has a difficult career. Marquez shows his tremendous desire to finally win a big fight. Barrera and strafes him with a left hook. Takes a left hook on the chin. Hits him back with one of his own. Power shots for Marquez. Barrera lands. Barrera lands two shots. Marquez tries again. Barrera with a right hand. Big left hook for Marquez. And the bell ends. What a fight. What a let's, glorious tribute to Mexican fighting. Let's do it again. After the score. By a point. And new WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Juan Manuel Dinamito. Judges preferring the power punching of Marquez, and the knockdown becomes a tempest in a